guess what? We are gonna make some sweet buns today, aka dough bar. Let's get our yeast. So we get it through the dough. And we're gonna have about four cups of flour. And add about one spoon of sugar. Just go ahead and mix that in with the flour. Okay, let's grab a bowl and go ahead and prepare our warm to hot water for the yeast. Mine was a little too hot, so I'm gonna add some cold water. That seems perfect. Go ahead and add your package of yeast. You go ahead and mix that up, and we're gonna let it sit here for a few minutes. After a few minutes, go ahead and mix in our yeast water as we're stirring our flour. And if you do need a little bit more water, that's okay. Just make sure that it's warm water. Okay, the consistency for kneading the dough should be still slightly soft. Um, you don't want to put too much flour in to make it dry. The yeast does not like that, I'm telling you. So we're just going to keep kneading the dough inside the bowl. Once the outside looks uh, pretty smooth, I'm going to switch it into a different bowl so that way we can uh, prep it for resting. Grab a piece of plastic wrap and put it over the bowl so we can make sure we keep the heat inside. Obviously, you guys can tell it's pretty cold outside and I don't use my heater much, so that's gonna affect how our dough rises. My little trick, uh, sometimes I'll preheat the oven, but just so it's warm enough inside so the temperature changes, um, I always make sure that it's not too hot and then just slide the dough inside for a few hours. Hoorah! Our dough is poofed and it is ready to be kneaded again. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my working board. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello everyone. <laughs> and don't be nice to it, okay? That's for sure. Don't be don't be nice to your flower and just kind of give it a little Swedish massage. We don't want a Swedish massage. We want some deep tissue. And um, see what's like nice and smooth on one side. I'm gonna put this back on my working board. Uh, we're going to cover it for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and we can start separating it for our buns. Okay, now that our dough is rested, we're going to pick it up and make a hole in the middle. <gasps> and then I'm just going to grab it. Oh, let me put some flour on my hands. It makes it a little bit easier. And just kind of pull until they're about the same length all around. Break it. Yes. And we're gonna break them off into pieces about this big or so. Maybe a little bit smaller. Just grab it. And they don't have to be perfect. Just, you know, an approximate size is fine. Um, this is the beans that we're gonna be putting in. Um, these are actually some that I already prepared. I'm making a different video for a different social media app, so. They should be about this big once they have the filling in. And we'll close them up nice and tight so they don't leak. We're gonna grab one piece, make sure it has some flour on it. Okay, so we're gonna use our fingers to just keep folding it towards the middle. You can see, I just take it in, fold it, fold it. Make sure you have enough flour on your hand. Fold it, fold it, fold it. And uh, the reason why we're gonna do this is to make sure outside is nice and smooth. Just looks nicer. And then take your rolling pin. I'm gonna roll it flat a little bit. And then you want the edges to be much, much, much thinner. So let's roll it out on the edge. Leave the inside thicker. Like this much. It's gonna be much thinner than the inside. So that way when we put the filling in, it's gonna be easier to fill it up and it won't leak. We put our beans in the middle. We're just gonna use our fingers to grab all the way around. If you feel like you're getting tight, just hold it and 
make them go down. Use another finger to just hold it. Hold it. And once you get towards the middle, squish it close. Now put it down. Make sure it's a nice round shape. Ta -da! There you go. Okay, in the next step, we're going to prepare our steam pot. Uh, make sure you are using cold water, okay? If you have this piece of cloth, you can use the cloth. Just make sure it's wet and then give each bun their space to grow. If you don't have the cloth, you can use a little bit of oil. Just take your bun, put a little bit of oil on the bottom so they don't get stuck to the steamer. Turn the fire on high heat. Yeah, so once the water is boiling hot, you wanna turn the fire to medium to medium low, depending on the strength of your cooktop. Um, just wanna make sure you give it enough time so it's nice and soft and fluffy. Okay, so after they've been cooking for about 20 to 25 minutes, turn off the fire and then just let them sit here for a few minutes. I'm gonna open the pot just slightly. Um, you don't want the temperature to change too quick or then they start looking funky. Our completed bean bread so you can, you can see I already um, opened one up. Okay, so see we got um, a good amount of filling and the bread is nice and poofy and super free. Mm. This is one of my most favorite favorite staple I think for Chinese food. So, Any questions make sure to leave them below and uh, I hope you guys have a good time making these. They're super fun, super good to eat. Turn out time.